So what Calendar does is we have the concept of tags. So if you go over here to the little settings gear, it's on the top right hand side, click on this guy, it's going to pop open some options. So we're going to go to tags first. Let's click on tags. Okay, tags are the way to organize your calendar events. So again, this is incredibly flexible, right? We have individual tags that you can create for things like paperwork being required or things like that. Uh, we also have groups of tags uh, that kind of go together. Let me talk about what tags do first, right? When you go to create an event or you're editing an event, you can apply a tag to this event. And what that does is it allows you to filter down to just those specific events. So let's say you're at the San Diego campus and you're part of the kids ministry. You only want to see events that are for you specifically and filter out all of the other things. Back on the events page, you can just filter to this San Diego campus tag and this kids elementary department tag. And now you'll only see the events that you care about, which is just fantastic because now we can still dump all the information in there, but only see the ones that are pertinent to our roles. So let's talk about tags real quick. Uh, again, like I said, like you can create new tag groups. What a tag group is, is tags that are alike each other, right? So campus is a great example of this. We have a bunch of different campuses at this fictional church that we're looking at right now. Uh, and you can create tags for each one of them. So now you can just pop into calendar and I can just look at Atlanta if I want to, right? And I don't have to worry about what all the other churches are doing. But if there's some multi-campus administrator, they can look at all the things and see whatever they want to see. I think you get the idea, right? So if we want to create a new tag group, we'll click on this button right here. We'll name it something, right? And then we can just start adding tags to this group by clicking add new tag. New tag. You pick a color for it and you save it and you're good to go. And now you can apply this tag to anything that you want to uh, inside a calendar. So the really powerful thing here uh, is that it's flexible, right? But one thing that we figured out is that all kinds of different churches use tags in different ways. But some of the most common ways, like number one, if you are a multi-campus church, you must create a campus group here so that the people at each campus can see what they need to see. Then again, if you're a bigger church, right, maybe you have ministries and departments at your church, we would recommend creating a ministry or department tag group so that you can filter down to just events from that specific group. Uh, and then another like fun on top of that, you know, icing on top is event types. Maybe you have some administrative people or maybe you have specific departments at your church that only care about outreach events. Or maybe there are worship leaders who only need to see rehearsals. Or maybe there's that type, you know what I'm saying? Like there's different types of events that happen at your church. There's staff meetings, there's classes, there's group meetings. You know, you wear a whole bunch of hats at church, right? So you can create an event type category and then create tags for all of those so that you can quickly find those specific events. So that's tags. Uh, the cool thing too is we have all these tags, but maybe sometimes people would forget to use them, right? Maybe like the guy from the San Diego campus created an event, forgot to add the tag to it, and it just gets lost in the mix. Well, we can prevent that from happening by requiring a tag group. What I mean here is we'll go up to campus. This is the tag group for all of these tags. We'll hit edit, and you can see required right here. When you check that, that means that one tag from this group has to be selected or you cannot create an event. So what that does is that forces people to pick a tag from this group as part of the event creation process just to make sure none of this information falls through the cracks. Required tag groups are incredibly useful and especially for things like campus and department, I would highly recommend using them. Okay, so that's tags. Tags, very important to calendar, keeps all of your stuff organized, helps you to filter down to things that only you need to see or, or to quickly find information that you're interested in. So that's all about tags.